Good morning. Welcome to Monday devotional service. I'm Reverend Geoffrey Talam. You are most welcome. Today we are looking at the thanksgiving and prayer. And I want us to read from the book of Psalms 100, verse number 4. The Bible says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court, his courts with praise. Says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Why do we have to give thanks? There are two basic reasons. One, for who God is. For who God is. Two, for what he has done for each one of us. For who he is, is actually our savior. He's our Lord. He's our king. He's our protector. And that's why we have to praise him. And for what he has done, there are many things that he has done for each one of us. He has kept you. He has given, given you blessings, gifts, protection. He has answered prayers to you and every one of us in every situation. So wherever we praise him in each and every day for who he is, our lives will never remain the same. So this morning, I want to encourage you that even as you approach the throne of grace this particular morning, know that your life will never be the same again. Again, to go back to the same scripture, it says enter. As you come to that time of prayer, you are entering into the presence of God. It says, enter into those gates. What are gates? Gates, these are seats of authority. Seats of authority, as we can see in the book of Ruth, chapter 4, verse 11. At the gates, wisdom was added, as seen in Proverbs 1, 21. Also, judges and officers served at the gates, administering justice, as is seen in Deuteronomy 16, 18. Now, when you come to the presence of the Lord, you are coming to the seat of authority, where God is going to administer his presence, his power, is going to do great things. So as you enter, know that you are not in any other person's presence, but you are in the presence of God, Jehovah, and that he will never leave you the same. There are many things that God has done for us, is our savior. He has saved us from sins. The sins that we did, and even the ones that we know and we don't know, he saved us. Not only did he save us from the sins, he is even saving us now. He saves you now. From what? From fears of the day, from doubts of the day, from even angry words against our friends, against our neighbors, against our children. He is able to save us. Is able to save us. So we need to thank him. We need to thank him as the savior that he, saves, he saved us and is continuing to save us. There is need for each one of us, you and me, to say thank you. Now, we praise him also because he's God Almighty. He's God Almighty. That's what the Bible says, enter his courts with praise. Courts is what? Courts is the holy presence of God. Where God is, the holy presence of God, in his house, in his presence, that is where we need to praise him and to lift him. He's almighty, stronger than anything that might come your way. There is need for us to continually praise him. In the book of the same very same book, Psalms 100, in Message Bible, it says, enter with the password. I love that. I love that. There is a password. What is that password? Thank you. You tell him, thank you, Lord, that you have kept me. Thank you, Lord, for keeping my children. Thank you, Lord, for keeping my family. And make yourself at home. As you do, as you do what? As you praise him. As you praise him. Make yourself at home. Feel in the presence of God. Know that he is your father. He is your Lord. You feel in the presence of God. You are at home. Talk to him. Bless his name. Thank the Lord 
for being the truth. Thank the Lord for being the truth. His word is the truth. It can never be much than the other word. That word of the Lord is the truth. And there is need for you and me to thank him because his word is alive. His word is power. His word is able to change our lives, to change our circumstances. Praise him for what he has done. There are things that God has done, dear one, in your life. You can remember them. You can list them down. You can tell us one, two, three. There are so many. So you can praise him for those things that he has done for you. And not only that, there could be several things that he did even yesterday. You can remember that. Are you able to remember them? Please remind God. Tell God, God, I thank you that you blessed my children yesterday. I thank you that you healed me yesterday. I thank you that you provided for me yesterday. Tell him. Praise him for that. Hallelujah. Pick something that you know. There's something that you know. It doesn't have to be several years ago. No. Even today. Even yesterday. There's something that God did to you this morning. You can tell him, Lord, I thank you. Even the gift of life. Just to wake up like that is not obvious. It takes the hand of God. And there is need for you to say, thank you, Lord. To tell him, thank you, Lord. You know, when you do that, you are going to make him to be, you know, to move. You will move him to do great things in your life. I encourage you, dear one, to be able to thank God, to praise God. Even as we continue, may he bless you. May he touch you. May he do great things for you so that you may continue to live for him, you may continue to serve him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I encourage you that even in this Monday time and season, you please praise God, touch the heart of God in thanksgiving, and I tell you, he will do something that you'll marvel. He will do something in your life, in your family, in our church. He will do something in your personal level that you'll never, never regret. By simply saying what? Thank you. By doing what? Praising him. I encourage you, my brother, my sister, to continue loving God, continue praising him and walking and serving him. Thank you so much. God really bless you. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for my listener. Lord, as he, he or she takes time to praise you, may you uplift him or her, may you encourage him or her to work for you, to serve you, and to continue, Lord, living for you all the days of his or her life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Have a blessed day.